Good morning, students. Welcome to maths class. Today we are going to start a new topic. I will make you learn how to form four-digit numbers, and the number we will be dealing with greatest and smallest. That means we will start. We will learn today how to form greatest four-digit number and smallest four-digit number when the digits are given to us. Here I have written four digits: four, three, zero, and seven. If I am going to tell you to form the greatest number first, let me tell you: you need to arrange the digits in the descending order. I have already told you how to arrange in ascending as well as in as well as in descending order. So we will be arranging these digits in the descending order. So seven is the greatest. I will write seven. Then four, then three, and then zero. This is the greatest four-digit number using these four digits. I am repeating. I have arranged them in the descending order to form the greatest four-digit number whenever I am giving with the digits. Let's take another one. Five one two nine. Again, I need to arrange. In the descending order to form the greatest four-digit number. So, which digit is the greatest here? Nine. Which digit is greatest here? Nine. Then five. Then two. And then one. This is again the greatest number we have formed using the digits. Let's take another example. I have written three, eight, six, six. Again, we will arrange them in the descending order. Eight, but this is a special case. Why it is special case? I have written a digit twice here. I have written a digit twice here. So I will be repeating this six and six, and then three. This is how we are forming the greatest four digits number. Already four digits are given to us. and we are very much simply arranging them in the descending order hope you are getting my point now let's come how to form the smallest number we will be doing repeat what we will be doing we will just arrange them in ascending order this time so we are given with the digits 4 3 0 which digit is the smallest here 0 which digit is smallest here 0 But we cannot start a four-digit number with zero. If I write like four three four zero three four seven, this is not considered to be a four-digit number. It is considered to be a three-digit number. So I cannot start a number with zero. That means I need to take the another number. Another smaller number is three. So I will be starting my number with three this time, and then I will write zero. I have started with the another number, not with the zero. Three is the smallest among these three numbers, so three zero four seven is the smallest four-digit number. If I would have written zero three four seven, it is not a four-digit number. It is considered to be a three-digit number. So while writing the four-digit number, we cannot start any number with zero. So I have written zero at second place. Is that clear? Let's take another example. Five one two nine. We need to form the smallest four-digit number. So again, we will start with the smallest number. Smallest digit is one here. So I will arrange them in the ascending order. One two five nine. One two five nine. Let's take another look. Now the smallest digit is three in this case. So I will write three here. Then six, then six, and then eight. Three, six, six, and eight. Let's discuss another case now. This time also, we need to frame greatest and smallest four-digit number. But in this case, we are given with three digits. Here, four digits were there. But this time, when three digits are given to us, then how do we frame the four-digit numbers? When we are framing the greatest four-digit number, as I told you, we need to arrange them in the 
descending order. 875 is in the descending order. But which digit should be repeated here so that it should have a greatest value? Listen students, if I repeat 5, if I repeat 5, this is the smallest digit here. I need to repeat the greatest digit in this case to make it a greatest 4 digit number. So I have written 8 twice. What I have written? 8 twice. So this I have arranged the numbers firstly in descending order. Then I am writing the digit which is greatest twice. Means 2 times. Let's take another example. 194. 9, 4, 1. So which digit I am going to repeat? 9. Which digit? 9. Got it? Next, 7, 3, 0. They are already arranged in descending order here. 7, 3, 0. So we will repeat 7 again. So this is the way of framing the greatest 4 digit number when you are given with the 3 digits. Let's frame the smallest 4 digit number. I hope you must have got the idea. Here also we are going to repeat the digit. But which digit? The smallest one. So firstly I will arrange the given digits in ascending order. And then I will repeat the smallest digit. So I have written 5 two times here. 5 was the smallest. In the next 1, 4, 9 is the way to arrange them in the ascending order. And I will repeat 1 here. So I have framed a 4 digit number. Next, again we need to care, be careful about this. We will write 307. Not that 03. But this case is special. Why this case is special? Because 0 is the smallest digit. So we will be writing 0 two times. And 3 will be here. Again I am telling when 0 is any of the 3 digits given to you. We will repeat that 0 two times instead of any other number. But we cannot start our number with 0 as in the previous case. Because in that case it will not be considered a 4 digit number. So hope you are clear with these two topics first. In first case we have framed the 4 digit numbers greatest and smallest when we were given with the 4 digits. But in the second one we are given with the 3 digits and again we are framing greatest and smallest 4 digits number. By repeating either the greatest digit or the smallest digit, we are arranging the numbers in the descending order to frame the greatest number and we are arranging the digits given in the ascending order to frame the smallest four digit number. Let me tell you one more thing. There may be the questions like this. Use 8 at tens place. That means when you are given specific case that any of the digit you should use at that particular place only. So, here I have written the places. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. And what we need to do is, we are asked to use 8 at tens place only. And also we are asked to use different digits. Different digits. In that case, how I will write greatest number? I need to write 8 here. Now, the choice is 9, which digits I am going to choose. If I am going to choose 9, 8 I have already written. Then it will be 7 term and then it will be the turn of 6. Because I need to frame the greatest 4 digit number. So, I will be choosing the digits which are greater of, which are of greater value. The numbers are from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. So I am choosing the greatest numbers to form the greatest number. So I have chosen the digits from reverse order. 9, 7, 6 because 8 was already given. Here also while framing the smallest we need to use 8 at tens place. Now what to do? Again we need to choose the digits. And how we will choose the digits? We will choose the digits from the initial ones. 0, 1, 2 I will be choosing. 0, 1, 2 and I will not use 0 at starting place. So what will I write here? 1, 0, 8 and then 2. This is the only possible way of using 8 at tens place and different digits. And 
different digits. It can be any number at the place of 8. You must be given with any further questions in your book also that you need to use 7 at 1's place, 3 at 100 place, 1000 at 5 place, 5 at 1000 place. So in that specific cases, you need to choose the digits by your own and make sure while making the greatest number, you will choose greater numbers and while making the smallest four digit number, you will choose the digits which are in the beginning 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So hope you must be clear with all these three concepts. See you in the next video.